Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Asa Ryan and this is a little bit different. I just played a massive TSL game with Brazil, so I decided to do something a little different and play a much smaller game with Sweden. It's been a long time since I played a Four Leaf Clover map? Four Leaf, I mean, what's it even called? I, I genuinely have no idea what this map is called. Four Leaf Clover. That's right, so there's literally just four people, this is no game modes, I'm just playing with Sweden. I mean, this should be this should be quite fun. I'm looking forward to this. I mean, I haven't played like a really small map in some time, and the way that you play small maps is so different to the way you play big maps. I mean, look, there's nobody to try and steal great people from one, well, maybe in theory, but you know, it's 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 all fine. And Sweden are great fun. I love Sweden so much. Automatic theming on art museums and any wonder that has more or two slots or more you get diplomatic favor when you get great people queen's bibliotech is a six like oh it's just amazing six slot wonder thing open air museums are, are insanely good yeah sweden are pretty cool i like sweden i like sweden a lot i mean what a start eh we've got no game modes on this is raw civ raw dangerous civ and oh my goodness there's like nothing no production whatsoever this is gonna be Absolutely atrocious. Do I stay by the coast for the sailing boost or do I move inland a bit and hope that I can get like some better yields? I mean, I've got some things, maybe. I think maybe I should pull forward one slot and go from there. But I mean, oh look, there is some more hills here. That's that's maybe a little bit better then. Okay, well that's okay. Not going to go for a religion today. I know it's four players, it's going to be a bit risky, but I'm going to let them all fight it out and I'm going to go for drama and poetry to get that first theatre square if I can. Seems fine with me. Uh, let's go for an animal husbandry start. Mitla. Oh, they want to go science, do they? City growth rate is higher in a city with a campus. Interesting. Looks like we might actually be... Oh yeah, we're at the bottom of the map. Okay. That's intriguing, and there are some barbs that are going to appear and ruin my day, so I probably better go and clear those. Although Mitla might do it for me. I can't guarantee. Can't guarantee I'll have such luck, so I need to probably go and clear it. Oh, I love how quickly games run on this mode. When you're playing on such a small map, it's just like, hooray! Yeah, look, 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 already. Barbarian horseman. Told you. Ugh. Oh. Gotta love it. You gotta love Civ sometimes when it's just so unpredictable as to what it's going to do. Oh look, there are some horses. Okay, that's that's at least like decent then. Oh yeah, look, the barb horses are just gonna come running at me. Right, run away. Heal inside Mittler's walls. Nope, they chased me and killed me. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. What fun we have, eh? <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. There's another barb camp there. Oh, lucky us! Let's get God King out. The good thing about only having four people is, in theory, we should get a Pantheon. So I'm hoping. I mean, whether that's true or not is another thing. Who's that? The letter. Oh, faith into buildings is always a good fun one. The Mount mountain. Everest in the middle, there's astrology boosted. I think am I the first person to find... Yeah. I mean, I've, I was the first person to find Mount Everest. That's quite cool. Foreign trade boosted just by going up here. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely horrific. There's Rapa Noi. So this really is quite a small map. Those are the culture city state there. You can see that the barbs are going to be just unrelenting in the joy that they're going to throw on me. I think we're going to have to go for a settler, aren't we? But honestly, Portugal. Portugal's going around a lot at the moment. I <laughs> seem to be in every game that I either play or or, or build. Never mind. And Shan. Oh. Now these guys are going to be pretty cool. Okay, right, we'll have to keep an eye on those ones. Oh wow, we are being surrounded on all sides by barbs at this precise moment. Send a delegation. But they don't want it. They don't want a delegation. They're just going to sit there being killed by barbs and just moaning about it. I can just see it already. There's even tornadoes coming my way. Good God, this start is rough. Yep. Oh, bang. Okay. Um. Oh. One unit killed. I think it actually might have killed a barbarian. Well, if that's the case, that's sort of weirdly quite lucky for me. Egypt is which side? Top left. Okay, cool, cool. I have a settler. Right, I've got an archer as well. I managed to pick one of these up, so we're just going to go for a stroll. Pick a second archer, see if I can ruin this barb camp enough so that Mittler can help me out a bit. Oh, Mittler's being killed. That's quite fun. Zanzibar is up in the top left. Just need to find all the city-states if we can help it. 
Yeah, you can try and crowd me all you want, Barbs, but I'm settling here, so just F off, my friends. Stonehenge has already been built. That's intriguing. Never mind. So I'm 34. I actually don't think I probably... Don't think I could have rushed that, even if I wanted to. Ew. I know my army's weak. I've only had a few turns. Come on. Give me a break. Barb camp killed. 30 gold. 3 era score. Okie dokie. There's Marley. Oh my god. We've got three gold hungry people today. I expect those merchants to be eaten up super quickly. Are we the first person to meet everyone? Threatening camp divide. Yeah, five era score for meeting everyone first. Nice. Oh, look, that pub camp's been destroyed, but this one just appeared immediately. So, you know, the problem's not really gone away. It's just sort of moved. See what pantheons are left. Builders. Okay, I could get a builder. That's that's sort of exciting. Okay, God of Craftsmen. Uh, that would give me plus one production and plus one faith on that horsey horse. Too bad. Just to help me get a little bit more off. Divine Spark would help me get more writer points at the beginning of the game for when I get my first theatre square. That might be a decent shout, actually. I mean, I could get the three builder and get some city growth in order to build up a little bit quickly because, my goodness, I am lacking in all amenities and facilities and, and everything. Everything's just awful right now. Terrible. What was it? This is marsh. Hang on. I've got loads of marshes. Plus two production from marsh, oasis, and desert floodplains. Actually, I've got, look, one marsh, two marsh, three marsh. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get some marsh upgrade. Hooray! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a lot better, isn't it? Nice. And actually, this city's now got some production as well once it's uh, actually bothers to work a decent towel. Nice. Okay, this is better. Switching to urban planning, and then I'll go to Agogi. So that if I do need to build any units, I can. I'm also going to keep an eye on the relations between everybody. Everyone's friendly with each other at the moment, but as people decide to start to get a little bit, like, testy, I might be able to get a joint war going and get some early gold. I think I can kill this part. Oh, no, I can't quite kill... Uh, okay, I'm just going to have to just wait a second and hope that warrior doesn't take it. I'm just trying to sneak around Marley's lands here to find this other city-state. There's one more. Um, this may be a big mistake. Hang on. Uh, there we go. The city states just threw itself against those walls and, you know, did that really stupidly. So, got lucky there. Um, Irrigation is going to be boosted by that builder. We'll get, This builder can go one, two, and then maybe three. So, I need one more builder just to improve everything up. We'll go for one builder here. Yeah, and then I can start to look to sort of spread out a little bit more, hopefully. Bam, irrigation boosted. I'm tempted to kill Mittler, though, at some point. Is this a, is this count as a snow city? Or is this a um, tundra city? It's a tundra city. Because don't forget, later in the game, open-air museums are going to be very important on that sort of stuff. Bandar Brunei. Mali got a mercantile city-state. Intriguing. Perfect. Now I've got this sorted. I've got some coffee in my empire. As soon as we've got coffee, it's just like, yeah, everyone's happy. Um, good. I've got some gold as well. I'm just thinking of the best thing I can do. 440 gold for the next Sattler. I mean, that's uh, expensive. How much is the first great writer? 1,100 gold. It's not worth saving up for that one, I don't think. I think it's worth just settling out, exploring, getting, a, getting out there. Monuments are probably worth it, actually. Let's just get the monument five turns. That's good. And then I'm just going to purchase the monument here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then early empire I can get through to drama and poetry nice and quick. Yeah. Lots of lots of fun choices to make this early in the game, isn't there? It's all just like, do you not want this or do you not want this? <laughs> Poland well, likes the fact that I've explored the world. I know the sweet melancholy of the sea, even though I've never been to sea, but that's okay. Wait, he doesn't mind. He's, he's, not, he's not judging too heavily. Who's he go for? Pingala? Get some extra culture in, or Magnus to get some more settling. I think I've got to go Pingala. I'm so far behind on stats at the moment. Stockholm needs a Pingala. Everyone needs a Pingala in their life, you know? It's just like one of those things. Oh, lovely. Mittler's built a beautiful little road from me to them. I definitely won't be using that later on. Have all three religions been claimed yet? No, just Catholicism. Hasn't really been spread yet. Egypt's starting to. Mali will definitely get a religion. Absolutely will. So I'm hoping all three of them do it. Let's go for three inquiry for now. I oh, know, Pembrush and Voice. I think this is probably the easiest one to push. <laughs> Hello, Scout. Uh, no, not today. Thank you. Always forget to do this, but I should be buying up Diplomatic Favour now. It's what Sweden does really, really well. 
Uh, open borders, nobody's really buying at the moment. What about horses? Do people want horses? Yeah, people do want horses. I'm not, I don't really need them myself, so I will take the gold per turn. <laughs> profit points, yeah, everyone's getting crazy on profit points now. That's good. I'm glad I decided to not go for a religion this particular game. Often, often I get caught up in these sort of reflexes and I think, you know what, that would be really good if I did and <laughs> every time, every time I regret it. Oh, for goodness sake, it's a barbarian swordsman. Do I, do I trust my scout with my settler to survive that attack? No, I don't. I don't at all, so I'm going to have to wait and just... Ugh, be annoyed at them. Wait, Drum and poetry, done. Nobody's getting writers just yet. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Settling into this middle section is going to be an important thing to do because if I miss out, then I miss out. There's there's just no no way around it. There's I mean, the AI putting huge pressure. I can put another two cities in here, but this is going to be a space limited map. So here is one city. I'm going to settle on the desert. It says rebellion in 200 turns. That's a load of rubbish, but look at that extra production from the Oasis. It's a small thing. Um, it's also a desert city, so that's my second of all of the terrain types settled on, which is a great and wonderful thing. Now, he wants some horses. There you go, 72 gold. That's great. That means I can now just immediately buy in the monument. Is that worth doing, or do I wait for the amphitheater? I might actually just wait for the amphitheater on that one, so let's just hold fire, get a builder. Got another settler coming here. The settler's gonna just get escorted to the front line as quick as possible. We're gonna settle out. I think I'm gonna kill Mittler as well. I've decided I've decided they're not worth keeping around. So we're gonna go for it. Now, looking at the settling spots, uh, I just need to come up with a sort of rough aim of where I'm going to put everything. So I'm gonna sort of try and do, make a nice little theater square diamond. Um, so Stockholm is going to be building on this tile and this tile. So, to start with, I need a builder to chop down this rainforest. That's, <laughs> that's always a good start. Always a good start when you need to do that, oh, unless I just sort of go straight onto it. Now, I think I think a, getting a settler, sorry, getting a builder to do that chop works for me. I like that. I like that a lot. So, I think that's the setup. You've got a water park here. Yeah. I think that's good. There we go. Stockholm can... Oh, I need seven gold. Seven gold. There you go, 22 gold will do, thank you. Just ship some horses for that. Right, let's try again. So, Stockholm, do I want to rush that builder through or do I want to, I want to put the energy into the theater square? So let's chop with nothing being produced. Bam, like that. And that means that then when I do the theater square, it'll put the energy into it. Good. I'm gonna put my second uh, into Magnus. I just get the sense that loyalty is going to be a problem with this new city I put down, so I'm gonna immediately have to put a governor on it, I think. Okay, now for this city to do a chop. The theater square will go here. Perfect, um, and then, oh, now if I settle over here, I could go settle near Mount Everest, which probably would be quite a good thing to do. It's gonna be a tough settle, but I'm gonna give it a go. If I can just make friends with everybody. This is, this is the thing. Ugh, respect strong militaries. Ansem Musa, come on, I, these these guys should be friends with me. Well, there's another barb on the way, but um, I think I think we should be fine. There's the sailing boost. Let's put Magnus in, as expected. It keeps it just about loyal, and then ancient walls immediately in to keep it protected. I'm gonna have to get the archer in to uh, protect that as soon as I can. In fact, actually, maybe I'll have to rush this through. Is it worth rushing it through? No, you see, it always gets this wrong. Like, this is clearly the best tile. Work that. Um, okay, what am I going to do with this build? I'm going to have to throw the builder to the front line and just hope I can get there. Uh, horseman. Actually, a horseback rider would be would be a good call here, actually. Okay, I sense war. I sense war on the horizon now. You've got Marley now just sort of lingering around. Don't trust them. So... I'm gonna have to just think about this a bit more carefully. Um, I have to get some troops out. Political philosophy will give me a military policy card, probably. Um, the letter, are oh, they actually fighting the letter? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? They could just be, no, they've levied the letter. They've levied the letter. If I were to put Amani in there, I would scupper those plans quite considerably. Gotta consider doing that as an option. Oh my goodness, have you seen how many swordsmen are around here? That is absolutely horrible. To get this archer into the city quickly, I think. Classical Republic. 
Um, don't need that anymore, but what we do need is discipline. Oh no, a gogi. No, discipline. I think discipline's gotta be the one. Uh, we'll go urban planning and then I'll go for builders and then hope. Hope this is enough. Let's do other influence points. Oh, and I just need to buy in a horseman. How much is that? Like 390 gold from memory? 320 gold. Um, what I'm hoping, yes, here we go, right, this is what I was looking for, the diplomatic favour has now flipped, so, can anyone afford what I've got, 43 gold per turn from Portugal, I will take as much of that up front as I can, that's 290, and then, once I've got enough for a horse, I can just go for it, oh yeah, Egypt and Mali are still having a big old fight, no, that was my good archer, oh, that's painful, okay, um, Okay, 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 okay. Well, this will give me some era score for settling next to Everest. That's a good thing, but I don't have the loyalty to keep it. Uh, unless somehow this city is now loyal, which it's not. Um, but, 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 amenities. Immunity losses is proving problematic, but no one's got any amenities for me to buy. So that's not very helpful. Um, you know, I could, I could, I could complain about that one, I feel. So yeah, Stockholm. Sorry, you're gonna have to lose Pingala for a sec. Uh, it's a little bit annoying that, but it's okay. Right, Theatre Square is done, which means I am now getting one point of each, and I need to get as many great writers through early game as I can. Now, the Theatre Square Festival, I think, is gonna be the best thing for me to do, but I'm gonna quickly just pick up the Government Plaza, I think, so that I can get an extra governor in. That's probably a good idea. Which religion's best? Catholicism is choral music. Feed the world is Hinduism. Oh, feed the world. I see I could steal Hinduism. And become one. Become one with the food. That's not a bad idea. Um, okay, Mali. Mali could be my friend. Egypt to the one with the army, though. And Egypt to the one that don't like me. So, just saying. I mean, uh, I don't know. Here we go, horsemen. Well, bam. It's the first time I've used horses. And, um... Well, fingers crossed. Oh, look! Ah! First time in the world. Nobody else used horses up to this point. That's cool. But 26 strength on that city now. That makes, it gives me a little bit more encouragement that we can actually hold it. Right, Pingala, I'm going to put back into the capital now. And we're going to pick up Victor. I hate spreading this out as much early game with different governors. I like having all of the points in a single governor, but this is probably the best thing I could be doing right now. Oh, wow! Egypt actually managed to take this city from Mali. That's pretty impressive. Um, I'm kind of just going to ignore that because that's uh, ever so slightly scary. So I've got a second theatre square now built in this city, which puts me up to 4.4, 4.5 writer points um, per term, which is really good. I've got some theatre square festivals now paying off in my capital. We're just going to go for some early game tourism, some early game culture. I'm going to use some of this early game gold as well just to purchase amphitheatres into my cities. That should work nicely for me, I hope. Uh, I think I've got mostly worked tiles in this city. Not one well, actually, no, there's a few that aren't being worked, which is a bit annoying. So we'll go for a uh, builder, and I'll try and get some settlers after that point. Um, but yeah, early game culture is good. I'm just about holding my own in that city now, which is good. My horseman has given my entire empire more strength, which is great. I think uh, Mali, I, I've been just holding off being friends with him because he's still got no military. I'd rather be friends with, with uh, Egypt being being awful absolutely awful here we go one theater square it's project really bang oh i didn't really give too many points it wasn't too exciting that um 12 but i mean yeah it's really not a lot okay okay but it's, it's worth it i think it's worth it because it's if i can just get as many of these early game writers as possible then they're not all going to go into waste classical era is already running out i've also got an iron mine for the Everything. first time which is good and I'm just going to quickly get myself a trader into Stockholm as well. What is the best trade route for me? I don't think there's any city states requests. So just this, <laughs> so that city is just two food, one production. So I'd rather build a road actually, a decent road through all the hills. Cotterberg? Yeah, let's do that. That's going to be the best, best route. Currency boosted. Nice. How do you look at your shields and look beyond? Look, I'm trying. Okay, I don't have any boats. Leave me out of this. First great writer. Perfect. He oh. uses the full. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to get anywhere near a culture victory, but we're going to give it our best shot. I'm going to go through inquiry again. Uh, I think we're in normal age, and Egypt's golden, Portugal and Mali are normal. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's good to know. Um, we have got barb camps here, so I'm just going to 
See if I can clear them, get a bit of extra gold, because I need all the pocket money I can get right now. And the letter, I think, is going to be a good Organisms. one for me to pick up. Great barrier reef, lovely stuff. Uh, my city is sixth best in the world right now, apparently. that's um, it, it is the industrious capital, though. That's quite cool. I don't know how it's worked that out, but I'll, I'll take it. So looking at the map, actually, we managed to grab a lot of this land, like a lot of the land. Really, really cool. And I've marked off three of the terrain types that we need to for later in the game when we go to nationalism. Now, this open air museum gives me two culture and two tourism. I can have one per city, and it gives that bonus for every one of the five types of land I settle in. The only two I haven't got at the moment are snow and tundra. So, Mittler. Mittler obviously is an option. I can think about that right down there. I'm still thinking about a culture victory, but looking at culture, the person, well actually all three of them are kind of equal on tourism protection at the moment. Yao actually has some tourism coming out. What's, what is your tourism? I've no idea what tourism they're providing. I think it might be religious tourism, but yeah, so so far this is, this is doing okay. I mean, religion wise, we've got Catholicism in. Egypt and Portugal are going to have a religious fight. I'm not worried about that. The other thing I was thinking was say I needed to peg somebody back. We know that like one, two, three of these Portuguese cities and probably a fourth, like look at the land, it's flat around the coast. So a couple of well-placed frigates is going to be amazing at taking over land and, and pegging them back. And equally, look at that military strength here, two, six, five, one, four, eight. I've got one, four, six, and I've got the third biggest army in the world. That's nuts. Um, you also have got Egypt and Portugal have huge huge gold per turn. Um, they've denounced each other. I could easily take sides with one rather than the other. And actually, look, Portugal will offer me. I was literally just about to say, like, can we engineer a situation in which we can get lots and lots of stuff out? Egypt's giving me lots of gold per turn. I have a huge trade deal with Portugal, though, so I'd, I'd happily get rid of that. Um, Egypt have the largest army. I do have a little bit of a standing army. It's not the biggest standing army in the world. But it's enough to keep me safe. I've got archers I can put in cities. Um, I think I can survive an Egyptian attack. I think. And I think I could probably get Mansa Musa involved as well. So you know what? I'm going to take the take the gamble. I'm going to ask for all of Portugal's gold up front as well as some diplomatic favour. That's pretty cool. They're not going to give me their luxuries. But I can take a bunch of horses from them actually, which would be really useful for later on. I can sell those and I can... Oh, they're not going to give me the iron. Never mind. But there we go. We'll make war with Egypt. This is the time to do it right now because I've got basically no tourism coming in per turn at all. Let's just see if we can get uh, Mali involved. They're not going to get involved, but I can make friends with them, which will lock them in and stop me from being able, stop them from being able to attack me later. But that gold is really, really useful. The first thing I can do, actually, is just buy in um, uh, a new, what do you call it, amphitheater. So amphitheaters are cool. Theater Square Festivals, I'm going to just stick on that a little bit and just, just wait. I think getting a navy has got to be an important thing right now. Celestial Navigation will get us there pretty quick. Um, I can build an entertainment complex for some more stuff. I think maybe just getting a little bit of an army, maybe. I'm just thinking, I think there is a couple of little islands and stuff. Like, I think there's a little island down there that we could go and settle as well. So, yeah. I'm, I'm being torn between several different directions here. But I think my capital's got to get there bigger. So I'll just make a quick granary there. And then we'll look to be getting harbours. Yeah, look. The barbs are attacking me. Rapa Noi are the ones doing this. World Congress. Okay, right. Well, we'll vote on... Let's see if we can get city centre stuff through. That'd be really useful. And I'll go for Hinduism because that's Egypt's one. Um, and we'll just throw in chaos that way. My troops are passing by, okay? City centre, Hinduism. Oh yeah, we actually got two points. Nice. I guess we're keeping our diplomatic options open. There's a barb camp. Three era score. I'm going to go one, attack, and then move my army backwards a little bit. I'm going to leave that barbarian exposed just in case the Egyptians want to kill it. Looks like Portugal have got a nice standing army to keep me safe in that direction, which is quite cool. Yeah, so far. So far, so good. Yeah, as hoped, the barbarians actually blocked Egypt from getting near me, which was quite fun. Just move my horsemen to there. And just attack over the top using Portugal's army as a defensive wall. Got Mount Everest between me and them. Actually, you know what? If I took this city, these two cities, that would be quite a nice little pickup for me. You know, I'm Sweden. I know Sweden plays nicely, mostly, but I don't have to play nice. Uh, there's the amphitheatre. I've got my little great writer just sort of wandering around. Go and put a book in there. 
Egypt have men at arms. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not going to hang around and deal with those. I'm going to let Portugal do all of the work there. Just nicely harvesting some woods, putting some mines down, replacing them by Mount Everest. That's quite nice. I'm not getting holy sites around. Just rushing these theatre squares through just a little bit quicker than I needed to. Go for audience chamber this turn. I think that's good. But harbour, I think a harbour was actually a really, really clever idea. I'd like to be able to build boats from my capital. Um, and I quite like the extra idea of a trade route. Some more food, some more options. Generally for me, just to, to kind of kick out a little bit. Second great book. Okay, unfortunately, then ugh, I missed out. I missed out on some of the other classical era writers, I believe. Yeah, it's gone now to medieval era. So I didn't quite get as quickly onto that game as I should have done, but never mind. Upon his I've still got four easy great works out of that one, and nobody else has any, which is the best bet. All right, this man at arms has decided to come and try and attack me, which, to be fair, they're probably likely to be able to do, but I've got some good flanking here, so hoping this should be fine with my scout round. I should have actually done that for more flanking bonus. That would have been clever, but never mind. Can finally get around to upgrading Pingala. God, that took forever to do. It's awful how slow that was. And immediately peace with Egypt. I get to keep all the gold, so yeah, that's great. So I had a builder just waiting on this forest. Um, there was a fire and it died immediately. I mean, I feel like that's harsh, but sure. There's another governor there. That's useful. Okay, humanism is the objective. Civil service grow up, uh, city to temp up. I'm... <laughs> Actually worried, really worried that Stockholm has not got that high. There's grants. Double great people points. That will help me get a few more writers because, oh my word, my writers are taking forever. Um, it's probably because, I mean, veterancy is useful and all, but it's now I've built the first harbour in my capital. I don't need to worry about rushing that through. I think, yeah, getting great writer points in. It feels like a really weird thing to do, but I think that's probably the best thing that I could be doing right now. There's the audience chamber. That's great. I'm going to put a lighthouse in my capital that gives it more housing, that gives me, more importantly, another trade route. Now, what are my available routes and what's the most expensive route I can do? Six gold routes from Karlstad. So basically, as long as they're naval routes, they work really, really well. Um, okay. Well, in that case... I guess I'll, I'll do it from that city. I could do with a bit more gold. It's whether do I want science, culture, or food. I think the city actually could do with a little bit of food. And I could do with a little bit more tourism. So yeah, I know it's early stages, but I'll get a trader in that city next. Actually, that fire, it did work really well because now I've got an insane tile. Insane tile. Seven, seven yield. This is a really low production map. Like, incredibly low production astoundingly low production like it's actually very difficult to see how i'm going to improve this an apprenticeship now that is also a very good way of making production in a very low production map so i've got to think about the best ways of doing this as well oh, i can i can get some nice little like central areas around these horses maybe sort of jam it between districts yeah i hate buying i hate buying tiles like that but these cities need a lot of production and if i don't give it to them I can just see myself unraveling later. I do have some galleys. They're just now actually exploring the world. I'm just going to see if I can find all of these city trading routes. There's shipbuilding, which will help me just to send my settlers out to any, like, sort of extra space I can claim on the map. I'm being a bit slow about settling these two areas, I know. But there's no rush. I would have preferred to get my settlers out into the middle of the map, which is what I did. And now I'm sort of enjoying that by sort of now spreading myself this way. Just pick up Researcher quickly. And that's a little bit more science per turn. In fact, I was on 19 and now I'm on 29. So that one promotion was worth 50% of the science that I'm earning in this game, which is appalling. Uh, great engineers I really need to build. Actually, that's that's a really good point. Um, this wonder hasn't been built though. Plus two science and plus one production to all marsh tiles in my empire. I mean, that's insane yes i will do that eight turns to build that one i mean that's not what i planned on doing in my capital but i will do it marley wants an economic alliance and i will take that in fact actually there's some luxuries here i could buy for very small amounts of gold yeah 60 gold tasty the second great writer i've got 12 points per turn coming in now that's a little bit better than it was not great but it's better oh yeah of course this these little islands okay yeah, I remember this now. Perfect. Okay, actually, if I get Karlstad promoted quickly, I mean, feudalism 
and then into medieval fairs. That gives me a governor, then I can start to buy some settlers out of that city. That'll work. Got some era score for building a splendid, a splendid harbour here as well. So, okay, perfect. Infrastructure really is beginning to shine now. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trefford Askby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.